Greetings, people of the internet. Web's Jake here, and I'm gonna try and get through this video without coughing. Cause I'm still sinus infection is still kicking my ass right now. But um, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer that just dropped uh, like a few minutes ago, as of uh, today, tonight, whatever. It's like 12:30 a.m. So whatever, you know. However you define that, tonight, tomorrow, whatever. Um, so I really like this trailer. Um, it felt very, very much like, um, the, those classic 80s John Hughes movies, which is what they were kind of based, trying to base this, uh, off of, which I think is actually a really good idea, um, especially since they're taking Spider-Man back to high school, which is where a lot of the most iconic Spider-Man stories come from. And even though I was not too thrilled about the idea initially that they are taking Spider-Man back to high school again for the third time, um, the fact that they're not dealing with his origins um, is at least something. We're not going to see Uncle Ben die again, which is also a plus because if... My God, if they did another Spider-Man origin story and we saw, you know, Uncle Ben, I was going to kill Uncle Ben myself. Everyone knows Spider-Man's origin. Just like Batman and Superman, we know their origins. Even non-comic readers or people who aren't that savvy with comic books know their backstory. Let's not do any more origin stories on those characters anymore. <clears throat> so, that's what I like what they're doing with this. And the tone, I think, is what really kind of kind of hooked me. Um, because it... It, again, it still fits that classic Marvel tone of being very lighthearted and fun. But there's also, um, not again, it has that very, it, it just feels like a coming of age story. Um, and one of the characters just happens to have superpowers. Uh, which is again, why Marvel have been doing so great with all their movies. Is, you know, Captain America Civil, or um, Winter Soldier was a spy espionage thriller with, you know, people who have superpowers. <clears throat> and, you know, Civil War is kind of like a uh, political um, thriller, again, and people just happen to have superpowers. Or Ant-Man was a heist movie, and someone just happened to have superpowers. That's what they're doing so well, and Spider-Man Homecoming, um, again, I didn't think I'd be that excited for another Spider-Man movie, even though, you know, he's with Marvel, just because, you know, we've had five Spider-Man movies already. Um, but, after seeing them in Civil War, and after seeing this trailer, I'm now actually looking forward to this movie uh, quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, it's, again, Marvel keep knocking out of the park. They know what they're doing. Um, then the relationship that, that looks like uh, Spider-Man's going to have with Tony Stark where Tony is very much going to be his mentor, father-type figure, kind of showing him the ropes, uh, telling him how to be a hero, even though it seems like he's kind of discouraging him from being a hero, um, which I think is... <coughs> <coughs> Damn it. A stupid cough. Uh, which I think is interesting because, you know, let's be honest, Tony Stark was being kind of irresponsible by dragging Spider-Man into Civil War. Um... He should not have drug him into that. Um, that being said, though, we're all grateful he did. Um, that irresponsible bastard. Um, but I guess, uh, you know, I, maybe Tony just getting older and having dealt with all the things that he has, maybe he's getting a bit more perspective. Um, and maybe that's why he's trying to kind of dissuade uh, Peter Parker from being Spider-Man. Just, you know, trying to encourage him to just, you know, go to school and be a normal kid rather than be the hero. So that's, I think that's going to be really interesting to see that unfold into the movie. And, again, the continuation of their relationship. And, again, the, the design on Spider-Man's suit, especially with the little web wings, they're fully embracing the state, uh, Steve Ditko, Stan Lee design, which I think is fantastic. That they're, you know, again, they're, they're just going with comic book accuracy. Um... With a lot of the, the costumes, like Doctor Strange was amazing with that, that comic accurate uh, costume. Um, which isn't entirely necessary, but it's the little things. Um, and I'm one of those people where I like comic accurate 
things, even if, you know, especially costumes. <clears throat> so, I'm all in. Um, but also I think this trailer um, further showcases that Spider-Man really can't play with the big dogs. Which is, one, again, one thing that I loved about um, the airport scene in Civil War is, you know, a lot of people assume that Spider-Man, you know, he's more of a, even though he is more of a less, more or less a street level hero, he can play with the big dogs, you know, he can fight with the Avengers and hold his own, because he's got that enhanced, you know, strength and speed and stamina and all that stuff. Even without his spider senses, he can still hold his own against uh, some of the other bigger league heroes. Uh, that scene where it looks like he's, you know, pulling together or preventing, uh, I don't know, it looks like some kind of metal structure from falling apart. A lot like that scene in Spider-Man 2 where he's trying to stop that train from, you know, derailing. You get moments like that that just showcase that, you know, he isn't just like this naive kid, you know, he he does have great power. <clears throat> but again, with that great power comes great responsibility. And also something that I think is interesting is the love interest. Um, I don't know the character's name, but it doesn't seem like they're going with Mary Jane, which I'm fine with. Because, um, you know, Mary Jane's kind of been done before. Gwen Stacy's been done before. So I like that they're trying something new. Again, presumably from the trailer. Um... Oh, yeah, I'm all for. You know, Spider-Man's had several love interests in the comics. No need to go to Mary Jane all the time. Um, and I, again, I'm sure they'll do Mary Jane probably in, like, Spider-Man 2 or 3, 4, you know, whatever. <coughs> <coughs> However many Spider-Man movies they want to do, you know, years down the road. <clears throat> so, I like the direction so far that they seem to be taking Spider-Man in this trailer. And... Again, I'm really excited. I did not think I'd be this excited for another Spider-Man movie. But Marvel just keep knowing how to get my money over and over again, and I have no complaints. Um, you clever bastards. Knowing how to market your movies. Um, <clears throat> but also, we get a nice look at uh, Michael Keaton as the Vulture. Which I, I think his costume is kind of interesting design. Um, kind of have a nice blend of uh, comic accuracy, but he also has that uh, that helmet, which makes sense. Because um, as far as I know, for the most part, the Vulture in the comics never really used like a helmet or a mask or anything like that. He was just, you know, an old dude that didn't really wear a mask. But, uh, you know, if you're a supervillain or hero, it makes sense that you'd want to mask yourself and not have your identity known to the world. <coughs> <coughs> ah. So, I thought that was really cool. Getting a good look at Michael Keaton as um, the Vulture. Getting to see Spider-Man in action. And uh, then that last scene in the trailer, getting to see Spider-Man swinging through the streets and Iron Man in his suit right behind him. So, I wonder if they're going to fight the Vulture together. Or maybe Iron Man's just kind of teaming up with Spider-Man just on like one little side mission. Uh, maybe fighting Shocker. Um, yeah, Shocker. Uh, Either way, I think that'll be really cool to just kind of see Iron Man, uh, not just as Tony Stark in this movie, but actually Iron Man in action, kind of, uh, again, helping Spider-Man out, showing him the ways of the heroes. Um, but that pretty much wraps up uh, my trailer analysis of Spider-Man Homecoming. Hopefully you enjoyed the trailer, um, and hopefully you enjoyed this video as well. And again, my apologies for, um, you know, coughing and stuff like that, but sadly, I'm still just a wee bit under the weather. Hoping to get over that soon. Um, but, uh, before I wrap this up, as always, you all can like us on Facebook at Pace Bell Productions to get news and updates and upcoming projects and all that stuff, anything, pretty much anything going on with the channel. Same with, uh, Twitter, at Pastypal Pro, you can follow us on our Twitter page to, again, get news, updates, all that stuff, things going on in the channel. Um, <clears throat> you can always follow me on my own personal Twitter page at Irishman Jake, and, uh, you know, tweet me stuff. You know, your thoughts on these comic trailers and whatnot. And uh, two things that I'd like to promote, again, before we end this video, is there are two upcoming uh, podcasts we'll be doing at the end of the year. Uh, one of which is we'll be ranking our top ten favorite movies of 2016. And we'll be doing our uh, top ten favorite albums of 2016 as well. So that'll probably come out... Uh, 
Honestly, it'll probably be more uh, early January that we, you know, are, you know, uh, actually record and I'll be able to upload because uh, you know there's still some several other movies towards the end of the year that we're going to try and see. Like Rogue One comes out next week, Assassin's Creed, and probably a handful of other movies um, that we're all going to try and add to our list and just kind of see where they rank. Um, so if you all would like to submit your own top ten lists um, towards the end of the year, or if you already have it now, perfect. Um, of your top ten albums or your top ten movies, or even if it isn't your top ten, maybe you've only seen five movies this year. You know, feel free to send uh, you know submit your list of you know your top movies and albums, um, either yeah in the comment section below, or you can send your list to me on Twitter or the Pacebell Pro um, Twitter page, or you know on our Facebook page. Um, and then after we do our lists, I can do a separate video just showcasing you all's lists. Um, <clears throat> So that way I can, you know, just kind of help bring you all into this and make it, um, I don't know, make things a bit more interactive so that way you all can help kind of participate in some of the YouTube videos, um, look, in the future. Um, but, uh, <coughs> <coughs> but yeah, I think that wraps up this video. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and hopefully I'll survive until the next video. And until next time, everyone, cheers.